Africa, once a dark continent, now a rainbow continent, having three of the seven wonders of the world, the pyramids in Egypt, the Victoria Falls between Zimbabwe and Zambia, Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. In Cape Town, a place of diversity and cultural heritage is Helderberg College, a Seventh-day Adventist Christian institution of higher learning. Zealous in educating the head, the hand, and the heart of every student that fulfills the academic needs and graduates in the arts, business, and theology faculties. We as theology students, in fulfilling our calling and service to both the college and the Lord, are working together to transform a building into a vernacular house of worship and prayer. This is the barn. This is a place where we're planning to convert into a church. A place where Christ will be lifted up in the neck. A place where people will worship God in their mother tongue. Six groups in all, each responsible for a part of the building. Our group is responsible for the 20 by 8 meter floor, which is presently of three levels ranging from one brick to three brick depths. As we are planning to convert this building into a church, our main focus is the floor. As you can see the floor, it is uneven. It is full of cracks. So we want to convert or transform this floor into a floor that will be even. And the material that we are planning to use, we want to use the back sail for the damp. We also want to use the mesh wire so that it can strengthen the floor. And we also want to use the red mix to throw 167 square meter at one go. This will prevent the crack. So this floor can be strong. It can be able to carry hundreds of people. Our desire is to have the whole floor space evenly leveled, carpeted, to the satisfaction of the worshippers. Estimated quotation we have so far. The grand total for the floor came up to only 73,738 rand. As you can see, there is no labor item. Because we as theology student, we will do the labor. Hi everyone, um, this is Group B. I uh, will now hand over to Spiele. Okay, um, Gerard, we seem to have a challenge here. The wall is getting very flooded by the water that is coming from up here. And as we can see here, the wall is right up against the ground. So what can we do to better this situation? Spiele, because the wall is being next to the soil, we will have to remove the soil that's directly attached to the wall. In order for us to get that, they will have to get a back actor to remove the soil. To dug a trench around the building for us, and that trench will have to be about a meter wide. But because it's a two meter wide trench, they will have to stagger the trench in order for it to be safe and according to regulations. Fellas. Something needs to be done about this wall. The soil is too close to this wall. We must make a way. The total amount for the work to be done on the outside walls will amount to 42,176 rand. Making use of grey bricks instead of interlocking bricks will come to a saving of 28,000 rand. We are Group C and we are responsible for the windows and the doors in this project. 
So this building has about 12 windows um, in it and then it has one main door uh, on the side and the one that is also behind me and another door at the back. So as part of our project for the windows and doors in this building, um, we will need to, for example, cut this door. As you can see, you are not able to actually um, use it. It's a bit too short, so it needs to be cut in order to fit into the standard size of a building door. Um, and then, as you can see there, we've got our main door. Okay, so we're going to put in a double door there. Also, um, when these windows were put together, what was used is a wood paneling. And we're still going to do that. We're going to use window uh, paneling that is wood. Um, and the reason is because a wood is cheaper and also in terms of durability it actually does last very long then when it comes to the glass for the windows the kind of windows that we have uh, chosen are actually uh, two panel windows it has one fixed glass and then it has the part that you can actually um, open or slide out with a hinge so we were advised as we were getting quotes that to ask a manufacturer to actually fit the glass for you is expensive. The cheaper option is that you actually buy a large piece of glass, a glass sheet, and they cut it for you, but they do not fit it for you. And we will fit it in ourselves. This saves the costs um, on labor um, as well. And uh, also it saves us the cost if the manufacturer um, does it for us. For our budget, those items will cost about 35,245 rand. Thank you. Good day, beloved. Our part of this assignment is twofold. We first of all need to prepare and repair the outside wall of the building. Secondly, it is our responsibility to take care of the deck inside of the building. We are now at the upper level of the barn. As you can see, the deck is in a devastating state. The floor is busy rotting away, leaving it virtually impossible to carry any weight. At the ground level of the barn, we notice that the beams are completely battered. On the outside, we can see that the wall has cracks and chips, and also the paint is old and dull. We are going to need to remove the deck inside of the barn. Fortunately, tools have been provided for us to do this. On the outside, we are going to need polyfiller to fill the chips and the cracks. We are also going to need paint brushes, paint rollers and exterior paint to paint the wall so that the church can look beautiful and appealing to church members. Now I'm looking at the budget. So the total amount it takes us up to 8,440. Hi everyone, we are Group E. Our responsibility as Group E is to see that this house of God being roofed. As we are responsible for this roof, this roof is rusted. The iron sheets are rusted. The battings are rusted. And also there are no cutters that are in a good condition. They are in a bad condition and in a bad state. The fascia pots are also in a bad state. We want to renovate this roof so that it can be usable. But our challenge is materials. Together we can. We can together. Together we can. This is a quotation that we have of the items. We get our total amount that is 42,897 rands 58 cents. Hi, we are Group F and our task is to fix the walls into a better looking condition than what it is right now. As you can see, the walls are not in a very good state. So our task is to replaster the wall and then paint them with different coats so that it can look better than what it is right now. This is the budget plan for the group that will be responsible for the inner wall. And the total amount for the budget will be 5,962. 
a prospected future is this. As one enters the church at the main entrance, directly before you are three rows of sitting, enough to accommodate 130 people. In the front of the church is the pulpit area, with the two back rooms separated by a baptistry. Behind the city is a passage leading to the back door. On either side of the passage is a kitchen and men's restroom on one side, and on the opposite is a cry room and ladies' restroom. Beloved, while the desired church structure has been presented to you, this work will be seen to completion in phases. The work these six groups have presented to you are phase one, and the overall budget is 208,000 rand. You can see the need. Because you want to worship in our mother tongue. We are giving our time and our efforts. What can you give? Beloved, our plea to the community at large is unite your resources and your efforts with our efforts as we convert this building into a house of worship for our vernacular community. Thank, Thank you. you.